Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel today. Okay, um, round two team review. Um, do I, here's the, it is a positive week in the sense that I've done better. I've jumped up seven thousand. Um, but I lost my league, my main league. <laughs> I lost my main league, which I was like, I think fourth top score, but I was the guy who got the top score, which was like two one. So I was annoyed, but. Um, some very good players, some disappointments again. Um, there's uh, there's two players I want to talk about, and one there's three players I want to talk about actually. But yeah, so first of all, my trades. As you can see in that F three position, that five is there now. I did trade Zachary Fisher. So what I did was I had to sacrifice Fisher, and I feel like it was worth it. In the long term, it's going to be worth it, um, because I did Zach Fisher down to Billings, who's in my team, he's got 30k already, and then I upgraded Gibkiss to D'Ambrosio and about 100k. So I think in the long term, it's going to work. Um, so that's what I did. I basically Dacos, oh, we'll get onto him, and Captain Green. All right, starting with Nicholas Dacos. The conspiracy, the conspiracists, whatever you fucking call them, people who are conspiring against Nick Dacos. They were, they were correct. I called all them idiots. You know what? They fucking got it right. Because <laughs> he got tagged by Winnegar. It wasn't even a hard tag. He was just bad. But, like, when he's bad, he's really bad. You know, now he's got Brisbane, and he's got the Hawthorne beginners tag, and then the buy. He has a 170 break even now. You know, saying that, no day because you're probably going to get 150 against Brisbane anyway, and then a couple of 40 against beginners. But, so funny, literally, like, an hour before the game, I saw a post, and Dacos was like, oh, yeah, I talked to Gary Ablett, you know, about tags. Because now he copped them a few. He told me how to, like, handle them. First tag, and he, he drops a 50. <laughs> That's an absolute hour. But, look, uh, Dacos is going to stay. I'm not bothering with Dacos. Um, I'm not fussed with Nick Dacos. Sorry. Um, I'm not fussed with Dacos. Like, at the end of the day, uh, yeah, but, like, in my main league, you know, I lost because I played a guy who didn't have Dacos. <laughs> Ridiculous. Did not have Dacos. He had Whitford over him. He went 126. So. You can't run, man. You honestly can't run it. But um, Harry Sheasel, another good game. Yeah, he's he's really primed and ready to go this year. Like he's, he's going to be huge this year. He's going to be one of the best. On to this man. Hayden Young. Jesus Christ, this guy is bad. We all got sucked in. Preseason. Sucked us in, man. That one preseason game against Port Adelaide, he was so fucking good. What the hell happened? He's gone. He's gone. Do what I was actually debating going him to the play I'm going to upgrade to, and I decided, no, do what? What's the harm? You know, he's not going to go up, he's not going to go down. I'll give him one more chance. And the other player went 120, and I think he went 60. So, yep. <laughs> I brought down Bros, who got 87. Buddy, I, I had this guy on my team, and I started to for so long. So frustrating seeing these players that you had for so long. I had so wrong. I had Ryan. I had D'Ambrosio for so long. But I decided to go with value picks. Fucking stupid. Um, but D'Ambrosio is good. I'm really good. He's going to a launch. He's going to launch in price. He'll be 300 grand next week. He'll be as well. Um, House has actually come really good as well. He still has a low break, even if I'm not mistaken. Now you have 22. You said to go up another 30k. Perfect. Um, yeah, Field and Nick Caulfield, who got three because he got he did his goal run in the first quarter apparently. Um, 
Yes, that was great. It was actually good. It was best 18 this week. Because then I would have had, yeah, well, Caulfield scored it, gone ahead. Dacos would have, I would have Dacos hold it. I think Dacos, Young, uh, uh, it was Bowes, uh, Caulfield, Young and Dacos. That shows how good my defence is. Four of my defence got cut off this week. Solid, boys. I'm oh, no, sorry, it was Harley Reid of uh, Harley Reid post stage. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to have to trade Caulfield now. I still have Reid there as well. It's, uh, yeah, it's a tricky situation. Got Williams coming back this week, which, thank the Lord. Um, yeah, and then midfielders of a Bonzapelli was very good. I kept in green, which I think was literally the best option I could have gone, other than Jackson. Yes, he was my second on score. So, about the captain route, I would say. I was never going to captain with Jackson, let's be honest. Um, it's funny, because a 137 against West Coast, I was like, oh, you know, he maybe could have done better. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, Jack Steele, he's... Oh, what a peak that was for me so far. A 119 to 120, I really just can't complain right now. He's brilliant. I can't complain about this man, however. Nicholas Martin. Oh, he just he has to go, doesn't he? He has to go. Wines are allowed because he got 94, 99. Like he is around it. Saying that he's got 94 against West Coast and a 99 against Richmond. Two of the worst teams, probably, when it comes to... At least, well, West Coast is free and Richmond just give away three points. He's got Melbourne this week, which won't do that, but... You know, no Hall of Francis as well. This was a big chance for him. I'll keep him because he's going to go up in price. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't think he'll be there the whole year. But he's in Brownlow for my ass. <laughs> James Jordan had to step into the midfield this week. Um, very good, 88. Can't complain. Um, Lions obviously didn't play. He was a loophole for Roberts. Obviously, I took Roberts' points over Sanders. Uh, because at the time, obviously, Roberts got 94. and Sanders was coming off at 30, and then he dropped the 99. McKercher, Jesus Christ. I am so happy I put McKercher in. That could have been really bad. <laughs> it could have been really bad with Bukercha. Huh? Um, because, yeah, I didn't have him. Because I thought, yeah, he had a stinker preseason game. And I was like, mm. yeah. Joe Clark, Connor Redeen was up this week. I think he's breaking with like 30. No, he's on negative three. So that's fine. If he gets a 50, he'll jump up a bit. He'll be a slow burn, unfortunately. But it seems like Sanders, like Robert Stoll's a massive break even. Sanders is going to start going on. The coach is going to skyrocket. Same with Lions this week. It seems like Jordan's going to keep on going. Jordan, honestly, Jordan could be like an F8, uh, F8, an F6, to be honest. If he's averaging, if he's getting above 80s every week, I'm fine with that for now. Until eventually, like, you know, it comes to the end of the year and I can just upgrade for the sake of upgrading. Um, I'm so fine with that. Gordon Grundy. Grundy's going to go up to English eventually. I need English to have a bad game and drop. Um, and then Grundy will get upgraded because he's... Yeah. He's too inconsistent. He has a... He had a 30-point first half. Like, even, like, against Gorn, he had a 30-point first half, then the 100-point second half, and then he did it again. Like, he can't... He can't keep getting away with this. Like, it's to a point where... Does he put up a consistent fourth quarter? Because if he puts up a consistent fourth quarter, is even consistent three quarters? The guy drops up 130 every week at this rate. Um, he's got Nank this week, so yes, it'll be a bit tough, but he'll probably still do well. It'll be a mixed bag. Um, Luke Jackson, wow, what a game. Shout out to Longmire, by the way. So midweek, Longmire goes, mm, you know, we can play Jackson forward. You know, Reedy can come in and be that number one rock. And then he doesn't put Reedy in the team, not even in the emergencies. And it plays Jackson, full-time ruck. Does not, like, he goes forward a couple of times, just, like, you know, floating there. But, like, Jackson wasn't great at all. So, when Sean Darcy returns, how can you be like, yeah, all right, Jackson just goes forward and Darcy goes back into the, like, no. Can Darcy just, like, just be injured? 
again, like he just do his thing again, call it a day. Isaac Cady was is probably arguably the best player in the league right now. Yeah, he's on fire. I'm so happy to the punt on him. Um, I think he still has a low break even. Yeah, 45. Uh, playing Richmond this week, honestly. That honestly, you want a pod captain? Isaac Heaney is your guy this week. Five. Uh, with five, he got subbed out. I, my sources have said that apparently he had a bit of a back issue and that he's been dealing with a back issue. Now he's been playing full time midfield, he's been great, but um, he might be another player I might have to sacrifice this week. But you know, hear me out. Hear me out when I do it, when I talk about it. But, um, Billings was fine, 70, made some money, make more money, fine with that. Reed's been a bit disappointing. What's his, yeah, I don't think it, like just I yeah, think a 24 break in fit yeah like he'll still make money but like I'm feeling like you know I'd rather feel with Roberts or Sanders in this row I don't think he's anything I don't think he's anything that special for me honest like Sanders playing West Coast I'd rather that than Reed I watch I'll bet Reed and then he'll fucking this is the week that he goes fucking like fucking spastic or something and then, yeah, I decided to feel Carmen over Sex and Wilson just for the fact that Carmen's from West Coast. Dub, because obviously, yeah. Um, but that's that's the end of Carmen's uh, getting fielded days. Um, Sexton's a bit on the potential outside. Um, apparently, he got swung to Ford in the second quarter, after the second quarter, which I'm a bit concerned about. That's what I saw in the reports. Um, that's a concern. But he still doesn't get a break even. I just know his play. And then Dusty Wilson. Decent game. He'll shoot up a bit. What's his break even? He has a negative 51. And he should have a 50k. Yeah, cool. On to trades. Now, there's a lot to do. Okay, so first of all, no matter what, this is the trade. This is one trade I'm making. I'm going Hayden Young, and I'm going to Luke Warren. I should have done it earlier in the week, but I didn't do it, and that was me. So that leaves me 10k. So now I have the option of doing this. It Nick Martin out. I can go straight to Matt Crouch. That saves me a trade. It saves me I have to sacrifice somebody. I can go straight from him to Matt Crouch. Call it a day. Do that. Or Due to this five back situation, I don't know how it's going to go. I don't really trust it. I trade five. Um, yeah, I sub Jordan here. Uh, and I get. Uh, where is he? I get Jack Carroll. And then. I don't know who I want yet, but I bring in either. Butters, um, or Sarong. Butters went 175, but Sarong went 170 and 140. Um, what was it like Butters' first game? He got barely 100, right? Yeah, 117. He's got Melbourne this week. Sarong has Adelaide. So, I don't know. Sam Berry usually kind of, it doesn't, it doesn't tag, but he, he runs with people and I'm a bit, Worried about that. It's that all. Well. I can go Douglas into the midfield and then get um. I'm gonna get Tom Stewart if I wanted to. Break it one twenty one. No, never mind. That's fine. Then. Um. So like, yeah, I could do that, but yeah, I feel like I have to get um. I go. Oh, it's hard. It's a hard decision because whichever one I don't get, I probably won't be able to afford. It. By the deal. Let's break even. 68. 41. Mm. I'll go so wrong for now. So I can do that. And yeah, sacrificing five. I don't think it's the end of the world because, yeah, if he, if he keeps on going well, I can bring him back in. Um, and my team just looks a lot better like that. Like, look at my midfield. It looks so much better. My defense looks so much better. 
It's funny because I actually had this team, like this starter team, and I just started looking back because I wanted five. Um, and I wanted mod and the wands. So I could do that. Like, it's that, or I could go, um, or I could go, uh, Dempsey. I can go all the Dempsey. I could do that. Um, well, that, that's a that's a potential down. That's a potential one as well. Because I think I think in terms of they've got very similar break events. Jimmy Carroll. Yeah, like it's the same. But I'm not. I'm, I just don't know who does better. I don't, honestly don't know. Um, I'll probably I'll probably back Carroll, and it gives me more money as well. So. Probably back Jackie Carroll. So yeah, I don't know. But I feel like that's what I'm gonna go with. Um I'm gonna probably I think I'm gonna go big C Gorn into Bontevelli this week. I know Dave Cross against Brisbane. He has an issue going well against, but um uh, in terms of my uh league this week, my opponent does not have Max Gorn. He's English, so um that means I could go Dacos into Gordon, but like, yeah, Gordon gets Soldo, he should dominate. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then I'll just have to fill Wilson, which is why I could fit it around so I could actually, like, maybe I got Dempsey so I can put Reed in there. Um, but then, and then I, I can field. Yeah, because right now I'll be Roberts, I would say. But yeah, no oh well. Emergency uh, Sanders. But I don't have a loophole in this bench anyway, so I can't even do it. I just have to take. I have to punt. I have to take the punt. Um, so yeah. Oh no, because I have green. I do it. Um, yeah, so right now, I feel Roberts. Um, Charles Lipole, Carroll, and Roberts. Just because, like, Sanders against West Coast should be a gimme. You know I mean? Anyway, I'm just rambling on. Um, so that's the team review. Lions comes back in. Zach Williams comes back in. Yes, I know I have two injured players on my bench, but right now, yeah, there's Toby Pink. I know a lot of people bring him in, but I'm not... I'm not fast... With that right now, I don't think Pink is incredible to bring in. I think he's, I think he's going to be a bit of a slow burner. Yeah, he's the players that make money. So I'm going to be selling Tom Powell's price rise. I would have loved to get Tom Powell. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, there was the option of downgrading once the Powell and then upgrading Martin to. Because um, if I didn't do that, then I went. I did. Or young young to run still. Like there was the option of doing Martin and Wines um, to put Breed there and then And I go top power, and then which allows me to go to so wrong. So I can do that, but then and then I hold five, but then then day I get what I rather lion sarong and carol and hold wines, or would I rather trade five, get a rookie, you know. Because realistically, you know, because I, I don't think Fife is going to last. I think it's going to make much money either. And also, I don't want to trade wines. I, 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 I don't really want to, if I'm being honest. Um... 
put sarong for now. And then yeah, I'll go Mr. Jackie Carroll. I feel like I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's a shame. Look, I've used five trades and haven't done one upgrade yet, but I think I have the leverage of it. Thing is, yeah, you did look at it and you think, yeah, Jackson, once Darcy comes back, your boy has to go. Heaney, once everyone else is back, your boy has to go. Um, it's a bit all over the place right now. The, the VC strong options there as well. Like, there's a lot of VC captain options, but I don't know what Allied's going to do. But yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you, Os thank you all so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. I guess it doesn't work for me. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Let me know what you think of my team. Let me know how you guys went in the comments. I really appreciate the support right now. I think the channel's done very well, um, and I'm very happy about that. So, yeah. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. I'll see you on the next one.